this is Ned, and on behalf of guitarforbeginnersblog.com, this is lesson number three. In this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to read guitar tabs. I'll also be giving you some finger strengthening and finger coordination exercises to get your fingers really moving. And at the end of the lesson, I'll teach you guys how to play a song. First, I'll start off with the tablature system, or tabs for short. Now what that is, um, tabs are a form of musical notation, primarily designed for fretted string instruments such as the guitar, and it indicates instrument fingering rather than the musical pitch. Now here's an example of how a guitar tab looks like. Now as you see in the example, there are six lines representing each of the six strings on the guitar, starting from the thinnest string, which is the E string, Followed by the second string, which is the B string, third string is the G string, fourth string is the D string, fifth string is the A string, and the thickest string, and the last string, is the low E string. The numbers on the lines represent what fret you're supposed to be playing. So if you've got uh, five written on the E, the first string, then you're indicated to play the 5th fret of the E string, like this. This rule applies to any string. So if you've got, I don't know, 8 on the 4th on the string, or the D string, then you're going to play the 8th fret, which is this. Now, if you've got two numbers underneath each other, that means that you need to play the notes simultaneously. So if you've got um, five written on the G string and five written on the D string, you need to play those at the same time, like so. Now I'll teach you two exercises which are designed for strengthening and improving the coordination of your fingers. The first one goes like this. Noticed how when I played that scale, my thumb wasn't going over on top onto the fingerboard. It was right underneath the neck, like that, to this kind of position. And that's exactly the position I want you guys to be in. So give you a better view, like that. It's harder when you start out, but in the end, it really, in the long run, it's really going to benefit you playing. Okay, here's the second exercise. Also, for both the exercises, you can download the tabs off the website, so make sure you do that before you start learning these exercises. Also, um, with the right hand, don't really worry too much about the right hand, just play um, down strokes on all the notes, so just pluck down. Don't really worry about doing fancy stuff, I'll go through that later on. Okay, here it is, second exercise. Now we've finally made it to the song. The song that I chose to do was Ode to Joy, or Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, whichever one you want to call. And it combines everything that we've learned in this lesson. So here it is. Also, don't forget to download the tabs off the website. Make it a lot easier to learn. It starts on the open string of the high E, which is this. Right. Here it is. That now brings us to the end of lesson number three. Stay tuned for more lessons on www.guitarforbeginnersblog.com. <laughs>